And this is how I use JMPX with RDS on Windows. I set it up so it uses the default sound device. And then I set up the Windows recording device to uh, VB audio virtual cable and the playback um, to the, the actual sound card device, the default one to the actual sound card physical device that I use, which currently is the Asus Exona U7, which can do 128 um, bits per second. Um, I then set up Media Monkey, just down in the corner, um, to output audio to uh, the uh, uh, VB audio virtual cable. Um, I can then, um, that then goes from Media Monkey through the virtual cable to JMPX and then JMPX goes out to the physical device. The physical device uh, then goes to an FM transmitter which is a simple uh, frequency synthesized one um, and that is then being, signal is being received by this radio and also by the cell phone. Um, so I'll press modulate and it will start up. And you can hear it's transmitting and the little red light indicates it's in stereo. Um, and the RDS will tell you some macro. It will tell you the name of the song and the uh, you can see it is the correct name of the song um, and the radio station which is JMPX at the moment. Um, now if you uh, yeah, um, if I Play, go to the next song. No, no, pass on that song. Well, no. That song. So this is no, too late. It's um, how to handle a rope. So you go down here, and you can see it's updated the song uh, title with the RDS song title with what the song is that's playing. So now you have a dynamic content of. Um, what you want to send. And if you stop playing music and you want to actually, uh, uh, you, you want to do a voice broadcast, then the uh, radio text goes to the default radio text, which is just radio text, test text at the moment, which is set up in RDS, where are we? There. Um, so that's the default one when no music is playing. And you can also set the alternate frequencies, whatever they do. Um, enable radio text, um, various things if you don't want to send clock time, uh, or you don't want to use this dynamic um, uh, updating music thing. Um, the music title updating on Windows works for anything that uses the uh, Winamp um, interface for control. I've only tested on Media Monkey on Windows, and on Linux it works on uh, Empress 2, which is uh, seems to be very common. Anyway, that's how I use it.